Hey YouTube, Skipper T here. Here we are. It is the 9th of October. 70 something degrees outside. Shorts and a sleeveless shirt in October. It's a beautiful day. And today I wanted to take a minute out and share with you a new find that I found. Now you guys have, if you've watched my vi previous videos, you know that I'm a fan of having paper books in your just in a bookcase somewhere. Survival books, prepping books, everything under the sun that way. Um, herbs and medicinal herbs and you know medical manuals and various other things. And I'm a huge fan and believer in the written word versus an electronic application because no matter what happens with power grids, you will always be able to read a paper book. So I highly recommend that you keep paper books at your, at your disposal. Now, one of the things I need to let you guys know about in advance um, is that there's combines going around all over the place. They're pulling down the beans in the local neighborhood. And it sounds like one's coming down the street now. So what I'll do is I'll pause here until after he goes by and then we'll resume. Okay guys, they've gone by for now. Wonder if they'll be back. It's the eternal question. But one thing I'll tell you for sure, thank God for farmers. Because they work 24 hours a day, it seems like seven days a week all year round to put food on the table for you and I and anybody that's hungry um, so you know kudos to these guys that are out there doing this you know in the spring they plant and all fall they harvest they maintain everything in the interim so big shout out to the farmers out there thank you very much continuing on um, you guys know that in my survival repertoire I keep this book the SAS survival manual here or survival handbook rather um, absolutely wonderful book it's got pretty much everything you'd ever want to know in one volume and if I was going to carry one it would be this the problem with this and I will keep a copy of this in my in my house in fact we've got two copies here I picked one up for my wife when I got these uh, three four years ago now um, so I'm gonna keep one here I'll keep one at the at the bug out location you know anywhere that that I'm gonna set up shop for a while I've got this thing here big full-blown heavy probably three pound two and a half pound book but it's got every bit of information in it and if I was going to buy one book on just survival basics this would be it however a month or so ago I had to travel for business and was going to be about 400 and some odd miles from home and I thought man can I throw this in my backpack I know about 40% of the information that's in here. I practice it. I go out into the woods. I practice it here in the backyard. You've seen me demonstrate these things in, vi in previous videos. And it's a good thing to have good skill, good sharp skill sets out there. And the only way you can have a sharp skill set is to practice. Now you can watch my other videos on how to start fires and you know set up tarps and various things that are out there. But guys, unless you practice them, you're going to be stuck when you really need it but anyway if you need an all-around book I recommend this but I couldn't carry it in my pack my pack was already gonna be heavy I'm 400 miles from home and I'm figuring it's gonna take me a month to walk home in a worst case grid down type scenario EMP whatever so I've been looking around and I've been looking for several years for a smaller guide that would fit in my backpack I've tried the folded pamphlets that are out there that have plants and animals and first aid and you know how to skin and capture animals etc etc and those are all very nice they're on waterproof paper I like them a lot I use them and I have carried them but in my recent search I found the mini version of this book and this is just the SAS survival guide as you can see it is considerably smaller line it up on the sides and such here very very small and compact version of the big book now is it going to have every bit of information that's in this one no it's not um, because obviously it's a much smaller volume but it has a lot of great information in it and probably 80 percent of what's in here but if i was going to carry one book with me and i was going to keep it in my in my pack that's in my car or I was just going to keep a reference with me to be handy it's going to be this one guys and gals out there this is probably one of the most concise survival manuals I have found in my searches plus the fact that it's small fit in your back pocket of your jeans goes into a side pocket on a pack just no problem at all 
and has all of the essential information in here that you're going to need. It's broken down into multiple categories or chapters if you want. Talks about some of the essential things that you're going to need in preparing for survival. Gives you ideas and thoughts on, on the different types of things that you can put in your kit. Talks about climate and terrain in here, what you're going to need, how you're going to prepare for various things. Um, it gives you references to a different types of equipment, you know, in the planning process. Um, talks about how to deal with all of that when it comes to climate and terrain, how to traverse it, what to look for, how to use this information while you're, um, uh, you know, like if you're reading a map and using a compass. I mean, it just, it's got just a little bit of everything in it. Uh, there's a whole section in here on food comes complete with color photographs I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see this but color photographs as opposed to a black and white line drawing are certainly going to help you identify which plants are edible which plants are poisonous it even has a section on health in here that talks all about you know how to take care of yourself first aid requirements but it also lists plants that are medicinal in there which you don't find combined into most other types of books like this so that is a huge kudo on this one uh, the health section that's in here and it's listed as health. Um, again, I mean, it's got basic first aid stuff. It's got some advanced first aid. It's got trauma, you know, worst case scenario type stuff. Um, but it has got an absolutely wonderful section on how to take care of yourself when major medical isn't going to be anywhere near or close to you or if it's even an option. At least with this manual, you can start to take care of yourself, stabilize whatever's going on, not only you, but the people that you're protecting um, and taken care of for along the way. Absolutely fantastic. Again, the food side of this is absolutely wonderful. It even shows you how to set traps and clean animals once you've caught them, should whatever food that's in your pack expire or you've already eaten it and now you're in a true survival situation. So again, starting off with you know the information and suggestions for what to carry with you, all the way through how to apply all of these different techniques and such, so that you stand a chance in a survival situation worth its weight in gold i got this book on amazon i think it was seven dollars somewhere between six and seven dollars and i gotta tell you what worth every penny if you're on a budget and you want to have a resource and you don't want to spend the fifteen dollars and actually the label says 19.99 on this you can get a little bit cheaper on amazon but if you don't need the big book or you don't want a big book then something to carry in the pack with you that's small like this, absolutely perfect. Again, we talked about food in here. And everything's listed on the side, so it's real easy reference. There's an index in the back so that you can quick find stuff. But there's a whole section in here on camp craft. And basically what they're telling you to do or showing you how to do is how to build a fire, how to build shelters in various environments. Um, there's even a chapter in this book on sea rescues and stuff, how to deal with yourself if you're out at sea, which, you know, hopefully never find yourself to be in a survival situation at sea, but at least it addresses it in here. Those of you that go on a cruise, take this with you. Might just save your life. But again, I think that this is probably one of the best, most concise little survival handbooks I've seen. It's a lot thicker width-wise than some things I've seen, but the information that is in this thing is invaluable. And again, for $7, this is where you start. This is what you throw in your backpack, your bug out bag, your get home bag, whatever the case may be. Small, easy, lightweight, especially by comparison to a book that's two and a half, three pounds. Guys, i got to tell you what, absolutely critical that you have this. I'll zoom the camera in so that you can see the covers on both of these. This one does reference that there's an I app or a, a iPhone app available for it. I think that's wonderful. I think that's great. My problem with anything electronic is, is it may or may not be working tomorrow. Um, you know, any of you that prepare or survivalists, whatever you want to call yourselves out there, you're, you're aware of the EMP. If that goes off, Guys, your electronic readers are dead. They're paperweights. But you can always pull a book out and read it. That's why I recommend the paper print. Now, one thing I will say about this all-encompassing... I'm going to say this carries probably 80, 70 to 80% of all the information you could possibly need. You know, some of the stuff you're going to have to make up on your own or you're going to go out and practice. But again, carrying this could just mean the difference between life and death. 
And one of the reasons I say that is because given the, the severity of the situation, a lot of times we tend to freeze and we're not sure what to do next and oh my god what are we going to do and then analysis paralysis sets in inertia sets in the fear has created this you can't move kind of scenario remember guys this is the number one thing that's going to save you this is going to be secondary if you're not using this and you haven't pre-thought and you haven't made plans for yourselves you're already behind the power curve all right but once you get into a situation, you've taken those few deep breaths, you've assessed what's going on, and you need to immediately move out of what could be a, a tenu tenuous situation for you, then you get out, get away from it, get to where you're going to spend your first night out there, sit down early, get you some water, get hydrated, then get this book out and start making a plan. This thing is going to save your life once you get past that first few hours of ultimately terror if you're finding yourself in this situation now one thing else I'm gonna say about this guys um, if you're like me the print in this is gonna be very small it's gonna be difficult to read I'm not as young as I used to be I prefer cheaters now when I read to make that little print much larger those of you that already wear glasses fully understand what I'm referring to in this case I would say any kind of a cheater or magnifying glass in a hard case I carry these with me in my backpack. I keep another pair in my car. I've got a, you know, a smattering of these scattered around the house so that I can read in virtually any room in my house. But with these, these are a crush-proof container. Now, I mean, obviously, if you run over it with a car or a truck or something like that, maybe, maybe not. But at least banging around in the backpack, the glasses are going to be scratch-free and they're going to be protected. And I think that's absolutely imperative so that this type of information and shoot even the bigger ones for me you know I can now read those I happen to pick these up at Gander Mountain they're a chain store across the country we've got a shop here locally they were like ten dollars I think these are either 1.25s or 1.5 magnifiers absolutely perfect when it comes to reading a small print volume such as this little survival guide here so guys you know put this in your pack if you struggle with small print, get you a crush-proof container, some cheaters, as I call them. Throw both of these in your backpack. Between the two of them, you're looking at maybe, I'm going to guesstimate, about 12 ounces worth of weight between the two. Um, you know, I know grams equals ounces, ounces equal pounds, pounds equal pain. This may very well keep you from experiencing far greater pain. Anyway, guys, something for you to consider. Great little book. I, uh, I bought three of these. I've given two away. I put this one in my wife's backpack. Got it out for the video today. And I've ordered a few more of these because I'm going to give them away to some friends. I'm going to put one in my backpack as well. Because quite frankly, I don't know everything. I practice what I do know. But if I need more information and I'm not sure about something, I'm taking a pocket reference. And this is the book that I choose. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a safe and long life. But if anything does happen, at least you've got some references to help yourself hedge the bet in your favor. Remember, guys, keep your eyes open, keep your heads up, and we'll see you outside.